Assalamu alaikum and very, very, very good morning to all of my students. You're all feeling great. I pray in wish that you are in your good health, in your best health, and you're enjoying everything. And show me your cute, cute smiles. Yes, that's fantastic. That is lovely. So when I see a smile on a cute child on a child whoever um, you are because kids are very cute they look so beautiful because they're growing and they're doing so much so that is so cute and so lovely so we are going to start our lesson today it's an um interesting and um, oh, very very good lesson today we are doing right it's so much interesting and this is something very new you are going to learn today right so you are growing also day by day you're growing every single day you grow a little your height is growing your hair grows your nail grows right your skin grows everything is growing right so that's an amazing process seeing something growing right so we will do that as well Okay, so this is a science class and today we are going to learn about a seed. Yes, we are going to learn about a seed. Do you know what a seed is? Right? Yeah. Come on, can anybody tell me what the seed is? The seed is a tiny thing from which the plants grow and the big trees grow. Yes, they come out of a tiny little thing, something like this. This can be this tiny, I'm going to show you. This can be this tiny, or yeah, how about this? It can be this tiny or even smaller than this. And these small things have so much inside that helps make a plant, that help makes a tree, big trees and plants. Yes. So we are going to learn about seeds. So you must have seen seeds. There are different types of seeds. You see them daily in your life. If you're cutting an apple, uh, if you're cutting an orange, if you're cutting a uh, grapefruit, or maybe you're eating uh, grapes, or you're eating mm, different fruits, even if you're eating mango, even if you're eating guavas, whatever you're eating, you tend to see these things. They are called seeds that is inside that fruit, right? So there are many seeds which help plants grow, right? So I'm just going to show you that. I just have a look at this. These are also different type of seeds from which the trees and the plants grow. See, they are of different shapes and colors, right? And even they look different. This is mulberry seed. This is pecan seed. This is elm seed. This is oak seed. This is maple seed. See, they are different. This is cherry seed. Wow. This is cherry seed. So see, this is pine seed. So you just take out these small uh, seeds and then you put it in the soil, right? This is sweet gum seed and they're like all different kind of seeds. See, they're all different. They're different in color, they're different in size, they're different in shapes and in textures and all. They are also the kind of seeds which fall from the trees and then they make new trees, then make new plants, right? Amazing? Yes. But there are some of the seeds which we look 
around daily that they are in our kitchen mostly they are in the fridge so we will just know about those as well right now i am going to show you this picture now have a look at this you must have seen these things in your kitchen right have a look at that now see these are the lentils your mummy cooks them and you eat them but you must not have seen them. You can go and check that in your kitchen, right? This is masoor dal. This is moong dal. This is also masoor dal, but with the, uh, with the cover. Then these are the chickpeas. Um, uh, this is also some kind of dal. And this is um, wheat. This is barley, you know, see? These are all the things which most of you have in kitchen. Sesame seeds and flex seeds and, right? So there are different kinds of seeds. If you're going to ask your mommy, she can show you in your kitchen, right? So as I can show you, I have some chickpeas with me, <laughs> which you can find in your uh, kitchen, right? These are the chickpeas. Your mommy cooks them, you eat them, and they are seeds. When your mommy cooks dal, when she is making lentil dal, mixed dal or chana dal, that is also a seed. You can <coughs> grow plants with the help of those seeds, right? And then what we have, uh, I am going to show you, yes, this. Now you enjoy these in winters, do you? Have a look at this. We enjoy all these nuts and seeds in winters. There are also seeds, almonds and walnuts and peanut, right? They are all kind of seeds, hazelnuts, cashew nuts. They are also seed and we eat them, yeah. Isn't that great that we eat all of these seeds and they're so yummy, right? So that means we eat different kinds of seeds. So I'm going to share you one more. Uh, there is something else. Yes, there are the seeds. Ah, yes, we eat pomegranate, we eat grapes, we eat fig, we eat apple, we eat peaches, and then we can even grow all these fruits like avocado and lemon and uh, grapes. So can you see all of the seeds? This is the seed of peach. And these are tiny seeds of apple, then um, lemon, uh, avocado. This is fig. There are all the seeds inside the fig. We eat all of them. Then pomegranate have like seeds. We eat all whatever we eat inside it. That's all. These are all the seeds. And then grapes. And with the help of these seeds, we can even grow fruits. Yes, we can even grow the fruits. And that's so amazing, right? So this is what the seed is. Now I am just going to show you what is inside a seed, right? Now you have seen this tiny seed, which I've shown you this. Yeah, this is very tiny. Now, I'm going to show you what is inside it, right? Now, this is the big picture of a seed. This is a seed, right? Whatever is inside this seed, looks like this, right? This looks like this, okay? Now there are a couple of things which we are going to look into. You can see there is a brown cover outside. Do you know what is this called? Okay, so this is the outer shell of the seed and this is called a seed coat. The seed is wearing a coat that is to protect it when it is sleeping, right? This is sleeping right now. And we will wake it up. I'll show you how do we wake it up, 
right? So this is the seed coat. So the outer shell is called the seed coat. Then there's this small thing that is also sleeping. That is the first leaf. When everything will come out, this will be the first thing to come out. This is the first leaf, right? And then there is another thing which you can see under the leaf, right? which is going to make the plant and that is called an embryo. This is an embryo. See, this is the first leaf and this is the embryo and this is the covering. Okay, now what will happen to this small embryo, right? He needs food, right? So, this inside is the food storage. The yellow part, that is the all food storage the, the plant will be needing when this will grow up. Right now, this is sleeping. When this will wake up and start growing, they'll be needing food. This will be the first food they're going to eat and then they will grow. So the leaf has four things, right? Four parts. The seed coat, which covers the seed, right? That protects the food and the embryo and the first leaf, right? So then we have the embryo from which the plant will cover. This is the first leaf which is sleep, sleeping. And then this is the storage of food for that plant when it will grow up. Right, so what we are going to do is, we will just, we have some sleeping seeds, they're sleeping, right? Now we are going to wake them up. Yes, now how are we going to wake them up is, we are going to take a glass, right? We'll take a jar or a glass and we will be needing some cotton. We'll be needing some cotton, okay? We are going to, Put it apart like this, like this. And we are going to put it inside our jar, right? Like this, we'll take another one. And we will put it inside like this. Mm -hmm. And one more. We'll take one more cotton and we will put it. So we are not using soil, so we are using cotton, right? We are using cotton to grow our chickpeas. Okay. Now we have some seeds which I have shown you. There are a couple of seeds which I've shown you. Right? So what we're going to put, do is to put the seeds in that, right? So let me show you. Now I'm going to put the seeds on top of the cotton. Can you see I'm dropping the seeds, right? Dropping some of the seeds. Yeah, okay. So we have cotton and we have seeds in it. I hope you can see this, right? Can you see this? Yeah, it has got seeds in it. And now what we are going to do is that we will, yeah, now we are going to put some water in it, right? We have cotton, we have seeds in it, and now we are going to put some water, not much. So we have to make the cotton wet. So the seed will get, we're going to put water in it so the seed will wake up, right? Now, look at this. We have put some water in it. See, a little of water has got seeds in it. Over this, see? A little of water and seed. This will soak a little. We'll have to put some more water in there. And now we have put water on the seeds to help him wake up. 
it is sleeping right now. But the moment we are going to put water in it, we have given the soil and now he will start waking up, right? Okay. Now what we are going to do is we'll put it uh, in the window or we'll put it outside, right? And daily, we are going to observe this. We'll see daily how our seeds are growing. I think they're good enough, all right? So we will, what we're going to do is we will put this over here and I will, right, so our cotton and the seed with water we have done and now he's ready to wake up. So we are going to observe it daily and see how he has going through, what is he doing? So we are going to watch it daily, right? And I'll make another plant for you as well, uh, which will have a different seed and we will see how both of them comes out and how different they are, right? So we'll put them both together and we will watch that, okay? So this is all about seed. And now you're going to go and check seeds today and maybe you can collect some of the seeds, right? And you can make a list of which seeds we can eat, from which seed we can grow different fruits, right? And if you have a gardener, if you have a Mali, you can even go and ask him today. You can ask your parents even, right, about the seeds. And you even take a seed and put it in the soil and grow it. And then you are going to share your plant with us as well, right? Okay, so that's great. So this was the end of our, um, this is the end of our science lecture. And I'll say goodbye to you from this class and we'll see each other soon, inshallah, in the next class. Till then, stay safe, be happy and be grateful all the time, right? I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.